towards your friend, you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile and Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Kit. Um, today I'm packing. I am going to Morocco. I'm so excited. Now is when I'm starting to get excited. I'm going on Thursday morning. Like it's Wednesday night because it's at like 1 in the morning um, on Thursday. But today is Saturday. But my days are packed. Tomorrow I'm going to my sister's bridal shower. Um, on Tuesday I'm shooting the whole day on Wednesday I'm shooting the whole day that's the day I'm leaving so I have to pack today because if I do not it's not gonna get done it's just won't and apparently I'm in for a bit of sexual abuse in Morocco <laughs> really looking forward to that um, yeah but I've packed long sleeves kimonos stuff to go over like regular clothes like jeans and stuff like that so that I can just be comfortable and not be harassed that said I might still be harassed because there's nothing that women can do to not get harassed it is men who need to stop harassing women but oh well so i have all my clothes here so we're going for 10 days so i have 12 13 outfits and then i have a bunch of scarves um that i can put over my head in case i need it i have my pajamas i always carry a shuka so but this one is an extra one i have one in my carry-on um and then i have shukas and towels because who knows if we'll get towels what kind of towels we'll get i have my underwear swimwear toiletries um and i'm gonna put my little toiletries in here i'm gonna put like makeup and stuff in here i have some hats and some handbags Ooh. and my shoes okay is not going in the bag Okay, are you going the bag? Which bag? The suitcase. Yes. Okay. So I have to get all of this stuff plus KO into that case. It's a big case, so I'm hoping that I can fit everything in it. I only want to carry one case and one carry on. Why you never said you felt that way? Guess you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I love. I have not done too badly um, everything has entered I only have my underwear bag here but that's quite soft so it can just be squished probably wondering what you're looking at I'm still at home went all the way to the airport checked in and got to the gate and the security at the gate said your visa is for tomorrow not today I don't know what this is supposed to be teaching me um, I still feel so frustrated I still feel the adrenaline of being at the gate and seeing like Sly go through like all the people that I was supposed to be with go through and I'm standing on the outside and I'm like can't I just go since I'm arriving at 11 since I'm, at, I'm arriving at 11 p.m. can't I just go and then just wait and they said no they can't let me in Um, yeah, so I've rebooked. I'm leaving tomorrow night.
dying to lie down I'm going to go for lunch and then when I come back I'm going to take a shower so that I'm fresh for my flight tomorrow not tomorrow later today I made some new friends one of them is actually called Martin <laughs> One is Martin, one is Kevin, they're from Kenya. Um, they're also transiting in this hotel. You are balancing on top of a bottle, on top of two cups. <laughs> so update, um, got to the airport and when you get to the airport and you have a transit, they automatically give you a room and food and stuff like that. So I waited two hours for that. I wish I had known it was going to be two hours because I would have gone just like straight to the lounge and hung out there while they do the thing and then just come back and gotten it because I would have gotten to have a chance I would have gotten a chance to have breakfast to lay down um, and all that stuff but I thought it was going to take 30 minutes at most it did not anyway so I'm now in the hotel um, then I got an update from my like the person who's hosting us in Morocco that the person who was supposed to pick me up tonight to take me to chef chef Schoen chef Schoen chef Schoen I'm saying that correctly the blue city um, is not going to be able to do that because I'm, so, I'm landing at 11 and so I'm probably going to be out of the airport by midnight and it's a six hour five hour drive to chef Shuen. so i'm going to miss seeing that beautiful city so anyway i will spend the night in casablanca and then i will take a train tomorrow to fez and meet up with the rest of the team i just keep telling myself this is good for me for some re whatever is happening this is good for me it's for me Imagine I am in the country where Moses and them came up. <laughs> ah, the pyramids are just like over there. Of course, I can't see them from here. It's like about an hour and a half, but they are here. They are here in this place that I am at. Did someone just touch my door? Oh, I feel like I should buy a suit. <laughs> wow, look at this. This is so nice. Table for one? Hello, how are you? Very good. good, thank you. Uh, three. Three and one. Three. Would you like to take a little bit here? Yeah, thank you. a little walk around this cool place I've had lunch now so I'm feeling much better guys don't you think of blazing hot when you think of Egypt why is it cold I'm look I'm in a hoodie why why is it cool it's not even cold it's like cool cool enough for a hoodie I don't want to I don't want to take you off and there's people lying on sand, not sand, sand beds by the pool. I'm like, ma'am, sir. Guys, there's a wedding outside my window. I was hearing ululation and I was wondering what. <laughs> oh my gosh. I made a friend. Hello. What's name? And she's traveling with my cat. Eh, say it again. Say the mystery. Mystery. <laughs> it's an old word. A very old word let meaning. Me, let me. Let, let's show Mystery. Oh, she's here. Oh, hi. Hello. Hi. 
Miss Sigri is 10 years old and we've been traveling together for a while. I actually got her when I was only 15. So she's my baby girl. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness. And then I was telling her about Nyambura. <laughs> Our cat. Yeah. She died when she was 17, and she was she. Her name oh. actually means cat. This one, the also name means, means cat. cat. Missigri is like a French word that is very, very old. It's like 500 years old, and it means cat. Yeah. So yeah, cat. My cat travels with me. We have fun. <laughs> we actually visited the pyramids together. We're oh. currently in Egypt, Cairo. Oh. And we had a lot of fun together. Oh. Also, I love um, that. Okay, and yeah, we've had a lot of fun together. And now we're yes. going back to Morocco. Yes, and I am going to Morocco. Yeah. So I've taken your contact. You, yeah, let's have you have DM'd fun. me? Yes, Okay. done. So, so we're gonna have a lot of fun. Yeah. We have so much, like a lot of cool, delicious food. I yes. mean, Moroccan culture, the Moroccan culture is wow. I can't Colorful, wait. beautiful, I the food is amazing. Yeah. yeah. So happy you're coming to Morocco. I'm so happy, I, I am. I hope you're gonna love it. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you're going to. I already love it because you'll be there. And your energy is so nice. So amazing, thank you. Yeah. And I can't wait to go to Kenya. It's actually one of the Come to places. Kenya. Yeah, I really wanna go. Yeah. I really wanted to go this year to Ivory Coast, but it got mm. canceled, so maybe my next destination will be Kenya. Who knows? And, and bring her. I'll bring Michigan with <laughs> Thank you very much. Ooh. I've reached guys and that's the train station right there. <laughs> but I'm taking the train tomorrow. dinner for anything really thank god i carried snacks this is one of the snacks i've been try dying to try um yeah i'm going to eat that i watch something small and i go to bed it's 2 30. i am knackered yo but that shower yes people the taxis are red the taxis are red <laughs> Good morning. It is 9 a.m. I have had a really, really good sleep. I'm going to get ready and go for breakfast. Um, and I have texted with some the lady that I met yesterday with the cat. She lives in Casablanca. I might be able to do something. Let's see. <music> tidy up my room and then I think I will go explore Casablanca I was telling Mitch that I am only now just realizing that I have never traveled by myself this is my first time and I'm feeling a bit apprehensive I said scared Mitch <laughs> no you're not scared <laughs> Vapa team, no, you're not scared. I slipped your big girl panties in your bag near your lotion, put them on and have an amazing time. Lock your door, put the plate and the cup down there and you'll be fine, you've got this. <laughs> Don't forget to pepper spray and taste bastards. Speaking of pepper spray, I never go anywhere without it. Um, it is illegal in Nairobi, of course, because such is life. But I think I will step outside and I will explore 
because why the hell not oh my god these taxis lord this is so fascinating to me like i am not getting used to it so many red cars Let's see hello hello kid all right no problem let's do that also um have a nice trip to fast just be careful fast is not very safe it's not bad i mean life's not bad but still you know put your phone in your pocket be careful and don't talk from strangers. nairobi <laughs> all right but have fun fast fast is, fast is a beautiful city I think you'll be like you'll visit the entire fest in like one day. It's not that big. Also, please let me know when you'll be back next week and how many days you're gonna stay here so we can organize a little thing. Also, I want to invite you to come over to my house so I can make you like authentic green Moroccan food made by my mom and me. So let me know, okay? And also, we have like Moroccan salon, which is a Moroccan living room. You'll really like it. Mm. All right, all right. Take care of yourself, kid. Have a great day. Yeah. So like a little restaurant, I'm thinking. So. I'm inside the red taxi. This person says he speaks a little English. I have Googled where I want to go. It's very close by and he has told me it's 40 dirham. That's like 400 bob. Um, now I'm sitting inside the taxi and we're not leaving. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. But I will go and I will come back because I'm a big girl. It's near the mosque. It's near mosque. Sak, sak, uh, sakla. Sakala. Sakala. Okay. Kazakh. <laughs> Okay, here I am. <laughs> <laughs> is that app um, where you speak into it and then it translates what you're saying because nobody on the street speaks English um, I have left Sakala because that's a, a food joint so I'm going to go back there for lunch I'm walking to Hassan to Hassan Do mosque so that I can see that and then I'll come back for lunch I found the big girl panties, Mitch. <laughs> I made it, guys. Whoa. Look at this city. Look where I am. <laughs> you know, I've been smelling the sea all morning. <laughs> I didn't know I was close to the sea. <laughs> What is wrong with me? <laughs> oh my goodness, what is that? Why is there just water pouring out of the mosque? And there's people swimming. What am I looking at? This doesn't seem sanitary. I'm not sure. Uh, is he coming? 
I don't know <laughs> if he doesn't show up in 15 minutes I will ask one of the waiters to call him again for me because but anyway I'll go outside and I'll wait for him and let's see look at this toilet everything is so nice in this place what a nice restaurant oh he's calling back he's calling back guys hello hello you got come to mohammed to a uh, le gatsby restaurant now 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 you come right now Okay, so that was somebody who speaks English because he asked me what time should they come. Uh, yeah, so I'll go wait outside. It's been 15 minutes, so I've asked one of the waiters, this guy, <laughs> to call Karim for me <laughs> to find out if he's coming uh, and what time he's coming. It looks like a model. It looks like a literal model in a magazine. The mosque has a joke? Uh, no, uh, it's not open today. Ah, it's open, the man. Open. I did not enter. No, open. At uh, one o'clock, open. Oh, one o'clock. Okay, it's okay. I don't have time. You look like fresh meat. Do I look like a corpse? Do I look like a corpse? <laughs> One day with the children and you're like, I'm a corpse. Please, somebody save me. I'm dead now. <laughs> telling Martin but <laughs> I feel like I was gone <laughs> by the taxi driver the taxi driver who picked me up was not sent by Kareem I I'm almost 100% sure about that he was just a random guy who took advantage of the fact that I didn't speak French and he barely spoke English to bamboos no it's not bamboozle. Hoodwink. Hoodwink me into believing that Karim sent him. And then at some point Karim called him and they were just speaking on the phone. But I don't know if it's the di Moroccan dialect or I don't know what language they were speaking. It didn't sound like French so much to me. They were yelling. I don't know if it's a yelling language or they were yelling. promised you a tour so this is it the bed it's a very small room uh, but very very sufficient for everything there's a TV here and then this is like a wardrobe you can hang stuff here oh yeah there, there we go so you can hang stuff uh, there's a desk here and then another one here and a charge port so in morocco you need this type of adapter so make sure you get that but they also have this here um, so i'm just charging directly very nice headboard so so nice and then through here is the bathroom um really nothing to see shower very very big nice shower and that's it that's the room he left me here he told me this is where i'm supposed to be uh seven uh the train is going to come from here this is marrakesh and it's going in that direction that's fez and my carriage is the last one 
have 15 minutes before my train arrives and I will get on it. There's a lady who just sat down next to me and offered me an orange. I did not know that Morocco was a kingdom. <laughs> so those are made out of gold. Yes, actually, this this palace was was built by his father, the king's father. Yes. I found Guys, you were there yesterday. Oh what my happened gosh. yesterday? The dancing. There was dancing. And the chef Shawan. I mean, chef, chef Shawan looks chef like Shawan a vibe. Yeah. And then you know when he went, uh, when he was like, it's it's a shag, like it's Dala. But I mean, it's but not. me, I've seen chef Shawan on vlogs, yeah. and I'm like, I love it that. It is so beautiful. The people are so friendly. It's blue, like it's an impossible blue. It's an impossible blue. And then there's so many souvenirs and legit things. Did you, you know? get? Did you get yeah, stuff? I got a few things. I got a few things. But you're a halot, so you so didn't tell me, so that I can send you. Do you see this? <laughs> Do you see this? This is family. Let this is let, let this is friendship. No, this listen, is listen, love, babe, babe, right here. Babe, 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 please, listen, listen. <laughs> oh, it was beautiful. It was so beautiful. Yeah. Such a nice place. Okay, like, I wish this it was here. This place. It's, it's called a Riyadh, which is like an old house. Mm. <gasps> I'll just show yeah. you tomorrow because... Yeah. Yo! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is salad. When you order salad, this is what they bring. <laughs> you can even have that salad. sitting area here and another sitting area here going up these stairs just now to do my shoot scene Winnie doesn't it feel like Game of Thrones And then, what is this? <laughs> what is this? <gasps> oh my god, hello! Hello, hello! Look at the windows open into this little. You see the outside? Look. And they have these little nooks. For put, they had to put towels here and stuff. This is an ancient house, and this is how it looked like. The stairs are pretty steep. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Lord Almighty! Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, my. I did not see how green it was last night. I knew it was green, but this. So we had dinner up there. Right there. Guys, look at this. This is what the ancient houses looks like. This is... A riad. Gorgeous. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Right? It looks like a picture. 
<laughs> this is a postcard. <laughs> it's just a house. It's a house, but yo. Oh my, you know what? I want to live in a house that looks like this. <laughs> but yo. So these guys, they lived, I don't know if they still live like this, but many family members, like 20 guys, 30 guys, in-laws, everybody. So it makes sense that your house is this size, divided into different, you know, um, spaces, hanging out spaces because you're many. Oh man, my mom would love this. My mom would really love this. I hope you guys are enjoying so far. I'm going to actually end the vlog here um, and start a new first vlog next month. Next month, next week. I am blown away by this place. Um, I'm going to do some editing, go for breakfast and I'll catch you guys next week.